basically today's video is gonna be all about you kind of read the title already right i was scrolling through twitter i saw an la rams post and i was just like no 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 shot okay so i was like i kind of live here now i feel like i have an idea where i should kind of like help them out a little bit give them a little bit of a push and an idea i just think dude if you look at their designs it's just way too much drop shadow so many different type bases i was like dude you, just, you, you know just do a little something something so in today's video i do a little something something hopefully you enjoy it the thought process all that good stuff and just you know we're trying to, we're trying to make rams look really cool and really dope right and uh that's all i got so let's just gonna run into this video have a little bit of fun and uh let's see what we end up creating and hopefully you guys enjoy it at the end enjoy All right, so if we we're gonna jump into this right here, right now, I have a mood board set with basically a lot of their actual social posts from Twitter and just giving you guys a base idea of what I wanna update and kind of like what I think is going wrong in this case, right? So first things first, the background is just to do, why is there like so much like, drop shadow and depth and there's just so much being focused being taken away from the actual players um the typography of course as well the, the the text itself but also the text itself is just there's like one different kind of text here another text here different text here another text here another one right here there is literally i just counted four or five different typefaces and that's just way too much okay but if i were to look at this and say to myself what do i want to actually see that the designer is actually doing like you know an idea right so i can notice a little background pattern in the background right the 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 rams is kind of in the background you kind of see the s over here too that basically says rams over and over and over again i like that theory i might try that out myself right the designer also is looking at things like this where like backdrops and like images themselves have a bit of a uh something behind it something with color behind it which i really do like but i would love to see a suggestion of that where it's actually on the back of the players as well right but then you go over here i saw this little uh video they're doing like a stop motion video of like a height image trailer thing and i was like okay they got motion ideas in there too like i like the little glitchy effects so what if okay you combine this thing here this thing over here and then this thing over here all together you get a really cool look that i think would be the star of the entire thing you tune the background up a little bit you tune the typography up a little bit and you get this real clean look so in this case i'm gonna be doing a video which basically gonna be doing this right here rams versus 49ers or rams versus uh, what the Bengals, right i think that's who they're facing right so i want to do that and i'm also just gonna kind of see where i can take this i already have a nice little file of myself uh for myself with uh you know we got oj obj here right with a little lo uh, logo over here as well just kind of give myself a little bit of a base idea because this is basically all i kind of get from them right that's immediate like vibe wise also yellow over here as well too boom need that okay so let's take this let's start it here and let's actually focus on actually giving ourselves a quick little color correction on obj here because he's a little bit he's just a little bit too too boring looking let's just make it a little more grungy more effect by using a little bit more texture a little more clarity lowering down some of these highlights and all that good stuff and let's get a, a good point where we can look really really good okay okay i think something like this is actually pretty good right you get a little more of a grit kind of vibe you get that like that grind culture vibe in here with the nice dark shadows we're looking pretty good okay so let's move this down a little bit okay so the idea that i had first was that duplication layer thing so i'm actually gonna make a few duplicates for myself just like that one two i'll take the second copy move it like right around here let's move the third copy right around here as well and immediately the thing that comes to mind is using gradients so i'm gonna throw a gradient on these guys real quick okay right and just like that right we get it look like this this is already looking pretty cool if you, if you if you're not following yet it's gonna get a little more spicy i already have an idea in my head okay so my my, my first idea okay is that this one right here this copy since it's so far out i think it needs to be since that like it wants i want to kind of feel like a glitchy kind of thing i'm gonna take this one actually and go over here and give myself a little bit of a nice little color correction on it or a filter on it to make it look a little more just different and distorted and i think it's gonna give me a nice look so if i go to filter filter gallery so like this filter right here if i kind of zoom in on it for you guys it's basically like this idea of a 2d like just like painted illustration look and adding those handwritten elements those organic elements to a design is just a very very cool thing in the culture of sports itself so i'm gonna use that right there and you can immediately see it just looks kind of cool right now for the instance or for instance i do think this can be a little bit more darker down the gradient right now that's look that's looking pretty good in my opinion right a little more darker looks it just it works right this second one here though it's giving me vibes where it's just like it needs a little something something so what i'm gonna do for myself here i'm gonna lower the fill not the opacity and throw on a, a little bit of a kind of like a dotted line pattern right something like this i mean a little more just a little more patterny kind of like 23 is pretty good press okay right and this little dotted line pattern is gonna act 
for us as basically another duplicate, but it's not gonna be a full image. And I can also make this a nice simple color of like orange, right? Well, let me make sure I get the exact orange right here, right? Or yellow, whatever you wanna call it, right? Boom. And just like that, we kind of get a really fun little vibe where it's kind of like glitchy, yet still fun, not too crazy, but also a little that little portion where it's like a little bit of like handwritten elements just give a bit of a quality that you can't really get anywhere else and i'm feeling it i love how that looks let's say to ourselves that's pretty good now for the background the background elements that i'm looking over here like i said before way too much drop shadow way too much going on but i do love some of the ideas right i want to keep it consistent as well so the 2d version of it is way better in my opinion than the 3d version so i'm actually gonna make myself a quick little rams logo pattern for the um horns and then a rams logo pattern with the actual text okay Okay, so I got my patterns in now. So I think what I want to go ahead and do now is work on this one right here first, right? So I'm going to actually make this guy a little bit bigger, not too big, not too crazy, right? I just want to kind of have the look. Also, not put it in front of everything. Let's put it behind some stuff, right? This right here is a little bit too too big, right? We're going to make it a little more smaller. That way, kind of get the idea that there are they are the Rams icon logo, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to make these colors. I'm going to make this a lighter tone than the actual background just like this right that's a pretty good color to use press ok press ok again and then over here for the rams kind of like text logo though i'm gonna drag this in front let's go let's put it in front make it bigger just like so right and this is this is already screaming rams literally because it's like over and over and over again rams right but the way to make this subtle okay is using the actual color not a brighter color but maybe something like Let's try to find like a nice medium kind of tone. Even though honestly that I look at this, the dark is actually not that bad, but it's just gonna be too much when you put actual text in front of stuff. So even though it looks kind of cool, I know it's not gonna be the actual way to go. So I'm gonna say to myself right around here is a bit where I wanna be at, I think. Like something like that, okay? Right, we got the Rams logo in the background, very, very subtle, but also this one right here, this can be a little bit less, like a little bit less, like a little, little bit. Boom, I think right there is actually really good, okay? So, now that I look at it, I get that vibe, the nice clean background. You can use this background over and over and over again. You can use the same pattern. You can use this pattern like this. You can tan you can tilt it, you can make it vertical, right? There's so much versatility with just using even two different patterns. You can get like seven or different type of things you can do for that like that quarter or that um that season. It can just still feel fresh and new every single time. So, next thing of course is I went ahead and we're going to say to ourselves super Bowl Sunday, right? Because we're, we're facing the uh, the Bengals. I always feel like when I say Bengals, I sing, I'm saying it wrong. Like, I don't know why, but maybe it's I don't watch too much sports. Super Bowl Sunday, right? Make this a little more bigger. Make a nice boom, right? Okay. So, this font is called Rock Gross Test. I just got it from Adobe Fonts. Now, the reason why I chose this is because look how many are in its family. Look, look at literally all these kind of different weights and all that good stuff. So for me, that just screams like, oh, this is a perfect font family that if I need a, a different kind of look, I can use the same font family. It won't look too just, uh, too crazy and different. And we find ourselves in a really good position, right? To actually use this for other things as well, right? Because this over here, the issue is that they just have way too many different fonts and typefaces. So one family looking pretty good, okay? So I'll make this pretty big. Now I think the double yellow is a little bit awkward. So what's, what's the, be the best word? Is it Super Bowl or Sunday? That we should be, make white like super bowl should be white maybe right and then sunday should be like yellow i think that makes the most sense but honestly super bowl can be yellow too but then be two two yellows here together might not be the play so let's say to ourselves that looks pretty good right there now one thing i also did notice is over here okay i see this powered by audi uh powered by audi um powered by audi right here all this kind of stuff so i'm gonna guess that we gotta throw the audi logo in here okay and with this little bad boy i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna put it right over here in this corner and we're gonna throw out on a nice little white, okay? Make it a little more smaller, because honestly, it looks like their branding like deal wasn't to be like super, super big. But Super Bowl, we're gonna put powered by. Anyone else just like say the right word in their head, but your brain just like doesn't, doesn't do it. Like, I don't know, what what's up with that? Anyway though, let's say to ourselves now, uh, what is this one? Let's go with like, let's go with maybe a wide extra bold that might be the play here because of course a little more wider brings a little more attention to it but bolding of the font itself brings a little more attention to it as well but also at the same time the entire thing is very 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 subtle now it's it's kind of blowing my mind right now because the one thing i'm looking at as well is these these texts here and the the so much like different colors of the or the texture of the skin and like the the different blues interacting in the background is a very 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 distracting 
Now, I think that just might be an NFL thing because they have a lot of frontal graphics on, even though this is like a practice jersey or whatever, right? Um, I can see here they have like a nice dark kind of tone or even a drop shadow on the text, which is either, either or is kind of cool, but the drop shadow needs to be super sexy. I know there's a lot of boomers out there in the world of football, I'm not saying you are if you watch it, but um, just basically saying there's a lot more older people who probably watch sports, or, you know, traditional sports. So we got to make sure that our text is legible. So I'm going to throw in a nice little drop shadow on both these Super Bowl and Sunday. So I'm not entirely sure why I did this, but for the next like eight minutes, I spent eight minutes basically teaching you guys how to use a drop shadow or how to make a drop shadow. I don't know why I talk so much about drop shadows, but basically I had a drop shadow powered by Audi logo, right? I added some subtext of where they're playing and all that good stuff at the top. I changed the Rams color on the jersey to a different, more like a kind of orange tone. And for some reason that took me that long, but now you guys have to watch that. With all that being said now, with, with everything the way it is right there right now, we're actually looking like we're done. I don't know. This to me basically kind of speaks exactly the idea that I had when I looked over here, right? Of like, kind of like the, just get rid of the, the weird background, put a little different background, a little more of an idea of a creative idea of like a, some kind of pattern or something that can be like, hey, this is strictly for the Rams. They're the only people who do this. This idea right here with the kind of like multiple glitchy kind of thing, right? That could be a fun thing as well. And also the animators will love them because they can be like, oh dude, I can just play with this, right? So with that being said though, what if I got this animated? I don't know if I if I didn't get anime I didn't but let's just say for the record it could look also pretty cool too but if I also wanted to as well make it more grit and grindy I can put some grunge in there um even if I wanted to I can still do that anyway I can still feel like it's the same family because all the different variations you can do with the text and all that good stuff it's just a really good idea I think it's just a really good idea of how you can solve for the issue um but of course there's just so many more things you can do as well so many more things I can do here as well to improve it but for the record I think we're good so right about now for you guys, I'll throw up a little bit of like a, not before and after, but hey, you can look at the beginning of our project, the mood board that we start off with at the beginning. Too much kind of, too many different types of typography, too much, uh, how do you say, how do you uh, drop shadow, all that stuff like that, right? But on my version, I hopefully I did like two or three more versions of like a, some kind of graphic for them for LA Rams so you can get a, more of an idea of a cohesive look. But the, ba the background's pretty consistent. You have like different kind of variations about the background. You know, the different players themselves also speak to a different attitude as well well you know of course change some different colors make it like championship white all that good stuff there's so much you can actually do when you just go ahead and make a really cool branding idea you kind of just take that idea then you can twist it and turn it any different way make it digital make it like grungy make it like something like spiritual like you know what i mean there's so much stuff you can do once you have an idea you stick to it and you don't want to go too far off you know to the, the to the deep end which i think la rams honestly right now is doing so regardless they have a really cool logo in my opinion but their branding needs a little bit of help. So hopefully I helped them a little bit. Um, but with that being said, if you guys did enjoy it, let me know. What, let me know what kind of team maybe you want me to do next. But regardless, let me know what you want to do. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Like the video. All that good stuff. Sesso HQ out. Now we got to keep smiling. Stay positive. Love you guys. Peace.